Welcome to this random ramble I'm going to put up as soon as it's done. I was looking through my bits box and I thought, hey, let's do a head swap for this shock jump dragster driver. Because I've done one with the traditional head, and I love the head, but uh, I like to make the orcs look a little different, so it's not the same guy driving the same buggy three times, you know? So I went through, I found a helmet with horns, sanded the horns down, clipped them off, sanded down the horns. I've got a jaw plate I'm going to put over top so he looks like he's definitely the boss of the speed wog, or attempting to be. And then when I was digging through looking for his helmet, I actually found a bunch of bits to build an entire boy. So that's the head from the Shock Jump Dragsta. And now what I've done is I've swapped in all the arms and legs. I found in pretty much an entire orc. Yeah, an entire orc in my bits bin. This is why it's always good to go back through and look at what you have in your collection. And then I saw this Ogre Maw Tribes piece, which is a massive cleaver. And I thought, hey, that looks like a great chopper. Let's put that on there. So there we go. We got a shooter boy based off the head from the Shock Jump Dragsta. All because I was looking for bits. And then while I was looking through my bits, I ran into all these little knobbler bodies without the heads. It's a two-piece model. It's The head goes on that little nub there. And the knobblers and the Ogre Maw Tribes are guys who like fall around and just collect stuff, I guess, for the, the Ogors. And then, uh, so what I thought was, hey, let's make him look a little bit more 40, 40K looking and uh, make him a Gretchen. So what we have here is the Gretchen version. So I chopped off the Sigmar head and one of the chicken bones, because it doesn't make sense for orcs to be carrying around chicken, unless I guess they raided a prehistoric, like, medieval town. And I did a head swap, so it's a 40k head. But it didn't stop there, because I found another Noblar body. This one, he has a little bag there, a cudgel, they're wearing these sweet little vests. So I found another spare orc head, and I swapped another one around, and now we have two Gretchen. But it didn't stop there because I found another one. Now this guy, he's my favorite out of the three. He comes from the banner off the set of the Ogors. So what I did was I did the head swap. He looks mean and grimacing. He's like pointing over there. And I chopped up an extra knob banner I had. So it looks like he's kind of like a banner bearer. Or maybe he's on his way to being a little weird boy. So there you go. That's why it's important to always dig through those bits bins every once in a while. Especially if you've been playing the hobby for a bit. But even more so if you're an orc. Because look at that. I found myself 15 points, 5 points a model, and then an 8-point boy, eight point boy uh, just out of the bits bin while looking for a head for this guy. So there you have it. A quick video for this weekend. Enjoy, guys, and good luck and good hobbying.